guys hope you're all doing well today I'm gonna show you what I picked I went out and picked some what you call free food guys now I don't make my husband spray anything on our lawn because I like to pick up my down the line but look at the amount I got on Instagram some of you have noticed I put up a picture and asked if anybody knew and yes some of you did know what I cooked up and it was the young shoots of hosta plants people have this in their flower bed because it makes a beautiful decorative plant it does make a small bloom it makes these little stems and then these little purple flowers but these are actually edible you're wondering why am I picking up hosta plants to cook up I'm trying to show you some of the things that you can actually eat that are edible free food right in your yard these ones here you're saying why are you picking your hosta plant when you could use it as a decorative plant mine are getting so big that I would have to sit there and divide the plant and since I didn't get a chance to divide the plant I am gonna consume some of them make the plant a little smaller just by using some of these shoots I picked and you can eat now this one here even has some roots if I want I could actually put this in the soil and I will get a new hosta plant with this one so I might do that and then bring that one to the country but here you go I'm gonna go also in the back and pick up some there now hosta plants there's so many different kinds there's the dark green one there's this one here which has got like a marbleized it's light green uh, cream color they're all edible guys if you haven't tried hosta you should try it tastes like asparagus I would say pick them if you're gonna cook them like asparagus pick them when they're young and they're still uh, not they haven't opened up and then all you need is really toss these in a little bit of olive oil salt black pepper and just put them in your oven and they really don't take long to cook and these are so high in calcium so many great vitamins that you could take and it's in your yard if you have a yard a flower bed I'm sure you have some of these you should try them now you're gonna say oh mine unraveled already taking some of those leaves and you can throw them in soups very very good for you if they unravel and they've become a leaf already you can still eat them I wouldn't eat them in the late summer because what happens is that the plant gets a little more woody but as long as you can pick some during the spring and summer uh, it's a great way to contain your plant and not make it so crazy and wild I know that where I have mine if I don't trim these or divide them or use them up as food uh, it's gonna suffocate some of my other plants I have in the front but very easy these ones here you just cut them right at the bottom and you've got your little shoots and these of course is my dandelion what I do is I go in in an angle and sometimes you'll see I'll still have a little butt there some of these are so big but I leave them in the yard because I want them to make some more dandelion but you could actually make coffee with this so there's so many things that you can do with this plant and this is so good for you it helps you detox high in vitamins high in calcium so delicious they, these ones are a little bitter but I was raised eating this stuff so for me it's not a problem but really good and if you find that it's a little too bitter I say just mix them in with some other salad and wash them really good get all the little bits that are bad like this you have to have some patience when you wash these of course but it is worth it because you this is also a medicinal plant guys but just eating it alone it is really really healthy for your body guys when I say it's healthy it's healthy not only is it a high like I said in vitamins and calcium but it is cancer prevention it's good for your kidneys I could go on the list is so long it's as long as my arm but I do want to show you some of the things that I do pick and eat that is free for you and it costs you nothing it costs you some time really that's what it costs but there's so many other edible plants that I want to share with you if I get back to the country I'm gonna show you some fiddleheads if they haven't opened up already because you know I do live in the city sometimes when I get back to the country 
they've already opened so you don't eat them when they're open but these look gnarly now because they were sitting in the sun but once this goes into water i'm going to show you the ones in my fridge now i don't really want to touch them with my dirty hands but when they go into water uh, they come alive my friend they really do come alive they stand up again and these are nice and clean for me i did leave the butts because i don't mind chewing on this in salads but if I have people coming over, I will clean off even the butt end. But my daughter and I don't mind. And yeah, so this is all washed. And it looks like so little, but there's so much of this. Really, really good. I'll show you what it looks like once it's washed. I'm going to go pick some more of these guys because I have some in the back that have to be divided. And I might as well just pick them. I'm going to cook them up and... I'm going to serve it to my family tonight. So there you go. I hope you like videos like this. I am going to also be posting wild edibles on my other channel. So if you want to come over and maybe subscribe to me there, you'll get to see some other stuff that I pick and that we enjoy eating. I want to also mention to you, I am kind of updating some of my videos that are a little too long. So I'm trying to edit some videos and put them back for you. These are videos of either my sausages and cheeses. I'll be doing that too. So this way you're going to get a more condensed video where I basically tell you what you need to do for these recipes rather than you having to listen to me jabber on like I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I got to explain myself. So if you want to see more wild edibles, follow me. On my other channel well I'll be posting some of those there you go I put it in some water and I just let it sit there I will pull these ones out first because there you go I will pick out I will pull out my hot stuff but these other ones there's gonna be a couple of washers but I just let it sit there and every once in a while I give it a good shake drain it and then throw it back into some water again and I do the same thing over and over so my water comes out clean and if you want to clean anything now is the time to do it like you can take a knife and just pull out all the stuff that you don't want around it now is the time to do it and then just keep washing until it comes out super super clean guys and that's how you clean chicory and really really good Okay, guys, I'm going to show you already. You can see the water is completely black. So what I do at this point, I take a basket, the same basket that I use to pick my dandelion. I grab it and I just put it on top. I drain the water and I start again. Now, I live in the city and basically I'm using city water, but if you're at the country in a place where your water is not so available because you don't want to, you know, drain your well, I would say maybe uh, use a couple of pails and then use your water to either water your garden or leave the pails. Yeah, you can use it for your garden. You can use it for so many, so many other things. Okay, so there it is. I've got all the... It's not clean yet, but it is my first wash. And now I am going to drain this down and put fresh water and then do this until there's no more dirty water. But I, I will also at one point go through one by one and make sure there's no grass on it. And if you see any, sorry, make sure there's no grass on it. And if you see um, any of this stuff here that you want to get rid of, you could even cut it down as close as you can. I'll show you. you. Just take off that bit. And with a knife, I'm using my nails right now. But with a knife, you could get it as clean as you can. And remember, if you're not putting any chemicals in your uh, garden, it's okay that, you know, if it's not completely, completely clean. Not that I'm telling you to eat dirt. But a little B12 never killed anybody. But do get it as clean as possible, guys. So we're going to keep washing this. I'm going to clean, like I said, each one one by one until that stuff isn't there anymore. So I am going to simply wash this out and put new water. And we're going to keep washing this. It's really, it looks like a lot of work, but it really is not. Okay. The 
Remember, if you're in a place where water cares for you, I'll find a way to maybe wash it in a pail and uh, save that water and you can reuse it. Okay, guys. This is the washed hosta. I'm, like I said, I'm going to be picking more in the back because I do have a lot of hosta plants and I didn't divide the plant. And if I just let it go, they're going to be suffocating itself. But these are the ones I picked from the front. And you're going to say, but it's so little. Even if it is little, it doesn't matter. You could always use it after you've cooked it. Say you can't make this as a, a serving per one person, right? You could always use it after it's cooked. And if you're making a sandwich, you could take a couple of them and put them in your sandwich. They're so delicious. Good, good, good for you guys. So if you find that you have some of these things at home, like the chicory, Give it a try, guys, and learn to love it. It's so good for you. So, so good for you. And yes, guys, if you don't have if you don't have a yard, if you see chicory, pick it where you know that it's a, a clean space. You don't want to pick this where it's next to a lot of traffic. But if you have some on your lawn or even your neighbor's lawn, if you tell your neighbor, do you mind if I pick some of your weeds? He's going to love you for it, and you get to have a little bit of free food. So, and don't be ashamed to be eating this. My parents grew up eating this. I grew up eating this. My kids grew up eating this. It's so delicious and so good. You can, uh, besides making it into a salad or mix it in a salad, you could actually cook this up. And when I do that, I'll even make a video for you guys how I do it. And it is so delicious in sandwiches. Uh, there's so many things you can do with this. So I'm going to say don't be afraid. If you haven't tried it, go out and try it. And if you're not crazy about it right away, I say uh, keep trying it till you like it. Because it is good for you. This is a lot better than buying any salad at any grocery store. Remember, salad at grocery stores, they have been cultivated for you. And this year, my dear, these roots have to go far down into the ground. So all the minerals that have been depleted, these guys will survive even in a drought. Because their roots are so far down where minerals still exist. So very good for you. And besides, like I said, not only is it good to eat, but it's very medicinal. I'll even show you how to make, if I get a chance, how to make uh, vegan honey with the flowers. I'm hoping to do all these things for you, but you could actually make vegan honey with the flowers uh, You can fry the flowers. I'm not sure if I have any videos of those up if I do I will try and maybe put it in a link for you. There's so many things you can do with this really really good guys So give it a try and you're probably wondering why are you picking this not that I can't afford to go buy vegetables but when you've got food that's free for you that's even better for you. I don't understand why anybody wouldn't. It might not look as pretty as the one you buy at the store. But let me tell you something. It's a lot healthier than the one you buy at the store. Uh, when I get a chance, these roots are a little small. But you could actually make coffee or tea with these dandelion roots. So when I get a chance, I'll even show you how to do that. Have you bought dandelion coffee at the store? It's so expensive. So... Uh, with the prices today of gas and everything is going up in prices, if you could get some free food for yourself, I think the time that it takes for you to wash it, it really is worth it. And like I'm not killing myself. All I do is add the water, give it a good shake. I keep pulling it out, put new water. I keep cleaning my dandelion. Problems in your health, uh, this is the type of food you want to get. This cleans everything. It detoxifies your body really, really good. Okay, the ones in the back were a little too small. I'll get back to those another day. But for now, we're going to put just a drizzle of olive oil, some salt, and they're going to go in the oven. And these really don't take long, so keep an eye on them. And if you have a little piece of aluminum paper, just lay it right on top lightly like this. So that they don't scorch, especially if you're putting them on high like I always do. But do keep an eye on them. I just want to show you, they haven't even been in there that long. But they are coming beautiful. 
I wish you could smell them. They smell just like asparagus. And I'm using my fingers like a crazy woman here. Okay. Back in the oven. Okay, remember that wimpy salad? Look at this. Look how big it got. Now, I'm going to let this drain a little bit. I have a plate on the air. Uh, but I'm going to let it drain a little bit, and then I'm going to go through each one. One more thing. You see those little flower heads? Oh, my God. Don't throw those out. Those are... Erica and I fight over these. There's so many uses. So many uses. I'm going to show you so many things you could do with this. Ask your neighbor. If you don't have a big yard or if you don't have a front yard, just ask your neighbor, do you mind if I pick some of your weeds and bring it home, wash it, and let me tell you, after it's washed, if you want to cook it, you grab it, put it in a nice bag, get all the, it doesn't matter if all the water is not out, but you want to get uh, all the air out of the bag, throw it in the freezer, and then I'll show you how to cook it. Or if you want it as a salad, I say let it drip. Right now it's dripping in this plate. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let it drip and then you bag it once there's no more water. You do not want to bag it with water. So what I usually do is I cover it with a cloth and I let it drip overnight. And then I bag this. But yummy, 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 guys. Look, ta-da! How beautiful are these? Let me see if there's a small one I could pop in my mouth. Now, normally, you see these are already a little... I mean, they're still good. You can still cook them. They're going to be a little softer than if you get them when they're shorter and firmer. But, oh my God. They're so good. When I say they're good, they're good. So if you have some hostas, just cut some and bring them home and throw them in a sandwich. They're so good. All right, guys. I love you, and I'm going to see you in my next video.